a warning tonight from the Florida Department of Health about mosquitoes. The health department has issued an advisory after four malaria cases were confirmed in Sarasota County. We have learned all patients have been treated and have recovered. We spoke with infectious diseases expert Dr. Eileen Marty with FIU about what we should know. Four cases is very unusual for local acquisition of malaria in Florida. So there is a suspicion that there are a number of uh, other uh, mosquitoes that are infected and that more people can be infected. Dr. Eileen Marty says that malaria is a parasite. There are five types of this plasmodium parasite species that can cause malaria. And while she says the type confirmed in Florida, Vivax, could make you miserable and is extremely harmful, it's not the type of malaria most likely to kill you. On the flip side, one of the bad things about Vivax is that it's one of the two types of plasmodium that can sleep in your liver. Dr. Marty says you may not experience symptoms while that parasite is sleeping, but if it's not properly treated, the malaria can continue to come back. And when symptoms are active, they may mimic other illnesses. So the classical symptoms of someone with malaria are that you have this, this uh, shaking chills and horrific fever and a, a, an extreme sense of unwellness. Dr. Marty says one thing that will stand out if you have a fever with Plasmodium vivax species, it can happen every three days. She says in most people, you'll know this isn't a cold or flu and should go see a doctor. When it comes to spread, Dr. Marty says malaria does not typically spread from person to person. There are some things you can do to help reduce your chances of getting malaria. The mosquitoes that give you malaria are most active at dawn and dusk. If you're out at that time, you want to wear long pants and long sleeves. You also want to use EPA recommended mosquito repellents for both your clothing and skin. You can see specific types of repellents by going to CBSMiami.com.